Mr. Red here. Today is March 11th, 2021, and today I'm starting my fishing, or at least set my swarm traps fishing uh, for bees. And I've set, I've set probably about eight of them out already, but I forgot to video all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just do a really short video on what I use to, to bait my traps and, and what I use to, to bait them, the boxes, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, not, it's not really complicated stuff, very simple. And since we all love getting free bees, catching swarms is the easiest way of getting free bees. There's no free bees when you're doing cutouts because you got to work for those. But if you just have to set a box in a tree, on a stump, or just on a ground or anywhere, and you get bees, that's just minimal work, and I love minimal work. If it's an easy way of doing it, I'm all for doing it. And there's, there's lots of different um, baiting stuff that people use uh, to call bees in. But the one thing I always use is the lemongrass oil. Now, this is the stuff I use. Just 100% pure lemongrass oil. And what I do with this is I use Q-tips. And I simply take my Q-tip, take the lemongrass oil, and put about four or five drops on each side of this. Now, some people take that straw and uh, take the Q-tip and put it in a straw, maybe even put it in a plastic bag to kind of prolong the, the smell of the lemongrass. Me, I'm, again, I'm just kind of lazy, so I'll just take that lemon, that, that Q-tip, <laughs> and I'm just going to drop it in the box. And then every about seven or eight days, I'll go back in there and drop another one in there until, until the bees come and decide to make that their home. I like to use, I like to use old equipment. Um, old equipment is just the best thing to do. It's got that bee smell to it. The bees are attracted to that smell, and they get in that box, and they... They see, oh man, this thing's already had bees in it. Let's let, if it was good enough for them, it'll be good enough for us and they'll move in. The type of box, oh my gosh, there's just so many variations of bee boxes that you can use. There's now configurations of five frames that are, you know, maybe nine or 12 inches deep, figuring they have that space underneath them. And all that stuff is good. It's really just preference, what you want to do. For me, again, since I've, I'm lazy, I want to do it the easiest way, I simply use my 10 frame boxes. I want to give them a lot of space. And not only do you want to give them a lot of space, you definitely don't want to put um, a bottom, uh, uh, for your bottom board, you don't want to use a screen board. You want to use a solid bottom. You want to keep that inside of that box as dark as you can. So lemongrass oil, old, old equipment, and what's really good is this old comb. Oh my gosh, this stuff is what it's all about. This stuff has the smell that will draw them in. I mean, I'm holding this right now and I can smell the old honey, the, old, just the, the comb smell in it. And bees find this and they will come to it are running quick. So this type of comb isn't readily available for most people. So I do have that advantage where I do have a lot of this stuff and I don't have any problem setting out in traps to, to catch our bees. But you don't have to use a whole frame. You can just use pieces of it. Um, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a frame. You can just drop old comb into your box. Anything with that bee smell on it. That's what you want to get. You want to get the attention of the bees. This, when they see it and it's a comb already drawn out, they're, they're maybe more readily open to accepting it, but I'm not saying that this guarantees it. Um, people will take old, old beeswax and they'll smear it on the inside of the, of the box. It's just all kind of little tricks you can use that will entice the bees to come into your box. And that's all we're trying to do. You want to put it in a location that one, you, you feel pretty confident that's going to catch bees. Me, I, I just put them where I've caught bees before. If you know where it swarms, go every year, set them there. There's not a lot of, of rocket science to this, but there is a lot of guessing, but educational guessing is, is kind of hedges your bet. You know, you, you use what you 
gain, knowledge that you gain, and it will be able to help place your boxes in, in a better spot. So, three things I love, lemongrass oil, old equipment, and old brew comb. And then there is one other element that, that I do have <laughs> that I always use, and that is whenever I set a, a trap, I'll always say a prayer. <laughs> I want to pray. They got four uh, patron saints of beekeepers, so pray to one, two, three, or all four of them uh, that we grace with some bees that come move into our, our box. So I'm going to go ahead and set up um, at least one more today. Uh, I'm going to go out to Covington Country Club. My buddy Tom and Melanie set at least two of them up on, the, on their columns up there. I catch bees there every year, so I just keep going back. It's easy. I'll just go back and then we're going to go ahead and I'll, I'll check on some of the, uh, the other location around that area where there's I've always caught bees there and those traps have been set for over two weeks so we're going to check on that area too by the grace of God we might even be lucky and have caught some bees right now so let's go ahead and set up a, a, a bee box over at Tom and Melanie's and we'll get this video going and maybe show you some bees at the end of it let's wrangle huh I'm sure you recognize this column. Yeah, I've, I've, I've probably taken bees out of this column three times, four times over the years, and I don't know how many swarms I've caught sitting right on here. So we're going to set our box on this one. I've already got an, a box on the other one. We're going to rebate that one. So what we're looking at, I'm dropping in, you know, some really nice frames of drawn-out comb, old drawn-out comb with all the good smell on it. Our box is an old box. Smell that and you can smell bees in there. So just take my bottom board and again using you know a solid bottom board and I try to reduce that entrance. I like to use a small one so that's only about a probably about a three inch no more than three inch opening for them and it's pretty small too about a half inch high. And we're gonna just put this up on top of here. I think I'm gonna rotate it around though. Have that entrance coming this way, and we're going to take our box and put it on it. So now all we got to do is bait, bait it with some lemongrass, and I'm I'm just going to take my Q-tip and put some lemongrass oil on both ends of it. You go and I'm just gonna drop this into the back of the hive because I want the bees to come into it just put it in the back and then we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it only one thing left to do say a little blessing God bless us with the graces of a swarm of bee on this box and let them be come productive Abbey honeybees. Amen. <laughs> We're good to go. So one thing left to do and I'm going to rebate the other box right there. And I use, I don't, since I don't open up the lids, I just found that I use this really slick little tool right here. And all it does, it has an end and you see that it opens up and I'll grab that Q-tip put my lemongrass oil on it and slide it into the beehive and there it is q-tip loaded up and it's on the rod flexible rod and all I do slide it into the opening push it way back release the q-tip and pull out my little holder <laughs> It doesn't get any simpler than that and when the boxes are loaded up on wherever they are, the tree, the house, the column, it doesn't matter. This little tool right here, put your Q-tip on it, slide it in, let it go. There's no lifting the lids. It's, this is a great little tool to be using. Um, the dirt rooster, he just, I uh, talked to him this morning, he sent it out to California to help work the almonds out there. 
so he's kind of busy uh, and, but he's he sets he told me he set two traps before he left but right now I'm probably fishing with about eight or ten something like that so who knows but by the grace of God <laughs> we'll have some bees though huh? and uh and hopefully we'll have another competitive swarm challenge this year so thanks for watching keep on watching I'll be making more God bless Mr. Ed I'm out of here until the next video <laughs> I know everybody recognizes this spot. This is just like my most productive spot for catching swarms of bees. And you can see, let's see, we got one, two, three, four traps set out. And I'm staying here and I'm looking at scout bees looking at this one right here they're flying around i'm seeing one there's there you go checking it out right there and on this one there's no there's nothing even flying around on this one and then on the back i see him scouting this one anything on the front no, I don't see anything on the front, but I see them flying around here. And let's go check out the other one on the other side. <laughs> they done moved in on this one. That is great. So that is definitely a catch right there. <laughs>